Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a first impression on this new Maybelline foundation. Um, it's not really new. It's new to me because I haven't tried it yet. This is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation. Okay, and then I'm just going to go over the packaging and what the product claims to do and then we'll just go ahead and get on into the demo. Okay, so I picked up mine in the shade Warm Nude because that's the color that I felt would match me more. The only thing is that when I saw the colors in the store, I felt like there wasn't really a match for me, but we're going to go ahead and try this one. So there are 12 different colors that this comes in, and I'm going to quickly just go right through the list and tell you what shades there are. They have Porcelain, Ivory, Classic Ivory, Nude Beige, Warm Nude, which is the one I got, Buff Beige, Natural Beige, Pure Beige, Rich Tan, Sun Beige, Warm Honey, and Coconut. And the only thing is that most of the shades look a little too dark for me, and the ones that were lighter looked a little too pink. And I have kind of an olive complexion, so it was really hard for me to match myself um, but anyway I'm just gonna go ahead and try warm nude and hopefully this will go okay Okay, so quickly I'm gonna go over some things that this claims to do um, first of all it says it's a long wear foundation that improves skin's appearance every minute you're in it okay and this has an antioxidant in it that is a lot stronger than vitamin C so that's always good and then this claims to be for all skin types and it is a medium to full coverage so one of the things that they claim is that your skin will look better in three weeks so I'm only going to be doing a full day review on this foundation, but I will definitely get back on here and share with you guys if I liked it in three weeks or not, if it did anything for my skin. Okay, so what I really like about the packaging, first of all, is that it comes with a pump because as most of you know, if you wear Maybelline foundations, none of them come with pumps and that's kind of annoying. So that's really good. I'm so glad that they did that. And it just has really cute, sleek packaging. It's nice. It's a glass packaging and yeah, so let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys in and I'm going to be doing half of my face using the beauty blender and the other half using a brush and we'll just go ahead and compare both sides. Okay, so usually I already break the seal before I even film the video so I'm kind of excited that this is like a full first impression and I'm hoping this color will work for me because if it doesn't, then I'm screwed. Okay, so I'm just going to pump some of the product out of my hand and right away you can see that it's a little bit thicker than some of their other foundations. Um, yeah, I think this color will be okay. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and apply to my right side first. And I'm going to be using the brush. And then I will let you guys see how it looks. Or you guys can tell me what you think about it. First of all, I do think this color is my shade, thankfully. It definitely is a medium coverage, and I think if you build it up, it could definitely be a full coverage as well. Oh yeah, definitely a medium to full coverage. formula feels really soft and it doesn't smell like anything so that is a good thing and right now I'm just applying a second layer to see if we can build this up to a full coverage without any um, cakiness going on or anything like that okay so right away you can see on this side of my face that all my imperfections are covered up and it does definitely look full coverage and I think concealer would just help it out a lot more but also it does dry really quick like it's not completely dry yet but you can tell it's a very fast drying formula which is always good um, so if you're somebody that's dry skin you don't have to powder so much but I actually like the way it looks a lot so I'm just gonna quickly show you guys how this looks So next I'm going to go ahead and apply to the other side of my face using the Beauty Blender. I'm going to take one pump and I'm just going to go in. I 
I feel like if you apply it with the Beauty Blender, it looks a lot more natural and it doesn't look too full coverage. Usually what I think I will be doing anyway is using the brush and then going in with the Beauty Blender to blend everything in. But so far, I don't mind using either or. They both look really great. This looks really full coverage and then this one looks a little bit more natural. Guys, and I'm so sorry for the background music. It's my dad jamming out on the accordion. If you're a Mexican, raise your hand. Let me know what you think. Okay, so right now I'm in love with the way that this is applying with the Beauty Blender. Like it just, it just looks really flawless. Really, really good. I really like this side. And I don't feel like I would have to powder or anything. I could just go along throughout my day and it would be fine so i'm excited to try this out i'm just gonna go ahead and go in with the second um light coat because i did go in with the second coat on the other side and i don't want to look weird throughout the day but i'm so surprised that this shade is my color it actually worked Okay, so that is this side of the face with the Beauty Blender. Two coats and then two coats with the brush on this side. So what side do you guys like better? I love it. I love this side. So usually the reviews that I watch, um, people do flash tests or whatever and they see if there's a white cast or not. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and do that real quick. I think it looks pretty good. Like it just looks even and full coverage, so that's nice. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw some makeup on and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I put on some makeup for the day and I'll be back in a few hours to tell you guys what I feel about this foundation so far. Okay, so I'll see you guys a little bit later. Hey guys, so it is now 6.30 p.m. and I'm really tired. I wanna take a nap and I wanted to hold off and kind of test this foundation out furthermore but I think it's okay I think it's a good enough time I last dang look at that big bruise the heck you know so it was at 2 p.m. no 1 30 p.m. that I last um filmed 1 30 so it's been what like five hours I think that's good enough time um so it's gonna be a five hours, I'm really sorry. It's just my days are really short. My mom should be home soon, so I'm, I know I'm not gonna be able to run over here and record, so. Let me just bring you guys in a little bit. Um, hopefully you don't. So yeah, I've, I've been cleaning. I've gone outside in the hot weather. Um, yeah, so first of all, let me see, I need a First of all, I did record a video after, and I feel like you can see, yeah, this isn't good. Like, I really love how the foundation looks right off the bat, like, right off the bat. Right off the bat, I, it just looks really flawless, very blurred, but I feel that it settles, like, I don't know if you guys can see that. Like, can you guys see where it, like, kind of settles? I mean, it's not a huge problem. Like, I definitely don't mind that. Um, but I feel like it feels a little dry on my face is what I'm trying to say and I notice that usually other foundations that I love are ones that kind of stay sticky or tacky and I can set those with powder and these are more like they try to dry to a matte finish and those usually don't work out too great for me but I they're doable like I definitely like the foundation I like the color it was a little too warm I don't know if you guys can see it looks a little warm like usually I look a little more lighter which maybe it's okay, like I need to, I don't know, I like to look more pale and this just looks a little dark for me, it looks a little pink. Another thing is that it wore pretty great, I mean you can still, you can see where it faded a lot and I think it's because I smacked into a lot of things. Wait, that's a, <laughs> I like, <laughs> I like rub my face or I 
lean against something so that is what happened there you can see where you it definitely see where it just like came off the sides of my nose right here you can see my my skin right here you can see my imperfections I don't have clear skin guys everybody's always like what do you do to your face it, I don't have clear skin um, but my blush is still there my highlight is still there my bronze is still there my brows are still there my shadow well of course my shadow is there um, yeah I think I mean the highlight on the tip of my nose is still there so I think overall five hours is a really good wear for this foundation I think if I were to try to keep it on longer it my face would just feel more dry and I don't want that so I like it I really do like it I do give it a full great thumbs up foundation I know a lot of people say it doesn't work for them but I think it looks great like I would definitely use this for short days like just run into the store or anything like that it is a good foundation I'm trying to think what I did today like I really rubbed my face against things so I think it does transfer it transfers really easily um, but I think it does look really nice throughout the day so yeah that is it guys I hope that this video was helpful please let me know what foundation you want me to try out next and I will gladly do that for you guys so um, I will see you guys later bye